Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Welcome to another reading vlog. This is going to be another weekend reading vlog because it's already Thursday. I feel like I am so behind on vlogging, booktube, reading, life. I just, I feel like I'm in a life slump. It's mainly being due to health reasons. I'm totally okay. I'm just really tired all the time and I work every afternoon and I'm often just busy. I don't know. I don't know how people have a full-time job and read and do booktube. Like, I don't know how you guys do it, but I've been struggling. Anyways, I thought I was gonna do like some makeup, uh, but now I'm like, can I even be bothered? I don't know. Also, Luna was just getting comfy in the background. Oh, she's so cute. Look at this. Are you a baby? Are you comfy? Love mommy's pillows. Yes. Any hoozle. Maybe I'll just put on some mascara and call it a day. If I could find my mascara, that would be great. <sighs> Why is my life such a mess right now? I have stuff everywhere. My drawer is so messy. I can't find anything. Like, what is my hard drive doing in the makeup drawer? I don't know. Oh, we got it. That was a mission and a half. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let's actually talk about reading for once. Wow, what is that? So I'm currently exporting last week's vlog. So that will be up either tomorrow or the next day because I still have to edit it in my fancy editing software to add the fancy text and everything. Uh, oh, Luna, you're disgusting. So let me tell you about the books that I'm currently reading. I'm still rereading Harry Potter. I only have four chapters left. I was trying to finish it last week for the Triwizard Tournament, it just didn't happen and that is totally okay. So hoping to finish this off this week. I am really enjoying the reread, it's really fun um, just going through and just annotating all my favourite bits and it's just really fun. It's just taking me a really long time. I've also started The Rise of Kiyoshi by F.C. Yi, I'm only 40 pages into this but I'm so excited about this book. Still can't believe I haven't read it. I am really enjoying it. Then I have books out from the library. I have new releases I want to read. I'm also listening to the audiobook for Into the Crooked Place. I don't know where it is right now. Um, but I got the physical book for review and then I got the, sorry, I got the audiobook um, from Audible because I just knew I wouldn't get around to it physically. And I'm not very far into it at all. Um, it's okay so far. Honestly, I think it's gonna be just like a generic YA fantasy, like, I don't know... Where's my mirror? Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be anything special or not, but yeah, I've been kind of slack um, listening to my audiobook. Usually I listen to it in the car on the way to and from work, but I've just been listening to music instead because I've been in a really musicy mood lately, which is fine, you know? I also have these two pimples on my chin, Sally and Moira. Wow, thanks for showing up, Sally and Moira. Oh my god, why do I lose everything? Found it. <laughs> I'm also reading two secret books that I can't talk about yet. So that's fun. Um, I'll tell you about them later when I can. So yeah, like I said, it's Thursday. Um, I have to go to the doctor this morning. Then I have some more library books to pick up. I don't know, all my library holds are coming in all at once and it's very overwhelming. <laughs> why are my eyelashes so stupid? And what else do I have to do? I have to go to work later, obviously. <gasps> Lucas is home! This happened in the last vlog as well. <sighs> Hello! So, I'm just washing the sheets, so I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. But it is Saturday, it is almost 12.30. Um, I've just been like running errands and stuff this morning, and I'm excited to update that I have been reading a little bit so i actually got a very exciting package in the mail and i already opened it i'm sorry but i got queen of nothing by holly black and i started it already i'm on chapter 9 page 82 and i'm really enjoying it um just a disclaimer the first two books in this series the first book i gave four stars the second book i gave 3.5 so they're not like my favorite books of all time or anything. Oh my gosh, sorry, my battery died. Also, how cute is Blackie? Me, my little boy. Um, anyways, I also got two library holds that came in this week. So I got The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is a King Arthur retelling. 
very excited about this. And then I also got the How and the Why by Cynthia Hand. Um, I loved Cynthia Hand's book, The Afterlife of Holly Chase. And this is her newest book. I have no idea what it's about. It's I just know it's a contemporary. So I got those. I have so many library books out. Like, what am I doing? But anyways, um, this weekend I'm planning on reading a lot. So I'm going to finish... The Queen of Nothing. I'm gonna finish Harry Potter. I know I say that every freaking week, but I'm going to do it. I only have four chapters left. And I really wanna finish um, The Rise of Kyoshi and Strange Grace. I know that's very ambitious, but also this is a birthmark. Everybody calm down. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know that's very ambitious, but we're just gonna try. But yeah, that's it for now. Probably gonna have a FaceTime reading date with Kara later this afternoon. And yeah. And that's it for now, I guess. <laughs>
did that and now I'm just chilling at home. Lucas had to go back to work and I'm here with my babies, which you can't see. Oh, I also totally forgot to mention that I DNF'd a book. <laughs> what so i was listening to into the crooked place by alexandra christo and i made it three chapters in before i decided to dnf it i was just not invested it didn't grip me at all it felt like a very generic ya fantasy that i've read a thousand times and i know i didn't give it a lot um but it just wasn't hooking me in and I have so many other books that I would rather be reading right now so I decided to DNF it. If anyone wants the ARC uh, let me know um, because I don't think I'm gonna hang on to the ARC because I honestly don't know if I'm ever gonna pick it up again. I don't know maybe I should keep it and give it another go later but anyway that brings my total books read for the month to six. And this will be seven, which is probably my worst reading month all year, but it's fine. We've still got a week left and I really want to finish Rise of Kiyoshi and Strange Grace. And I also started a new audiobook of The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I am not far into this at all, but the audiobook is amazing. It sounds like I'm being read a fairy tale. like. The audiobook is incredible, so I'm so glad that I am listening to it. But I will probably also read from the physical copy I got from my library. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited for this. It's already got a very, like, feminist vibe. And yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Oh, snap. It's also the Triwizard Tournament, uh, the second task next week. <laughs> Yikes. So let's just quickly go over my TBR for that, because... You only need to complete two books for that. So it's a second task, like I said. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave the blog post for this readathon in the description. Basically, it's based on the Tribes of Tournament from Harry Potter. It's super cool. The first task um, took place last week, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I am in Durmstrang. And so the loved one that I have to recover from the lake is a friend. So the prompt for that is to read a book um, surrounding friendship. And obviously I'm going to go with The Rise of Kiyoshi because this is an avatar book. Of course there's going to be a team avatar. You can't get more friendshipy than that. Then my method that I'm choosing to retrieve my loved one is the bobblehead charm, which is to read a book set in space. Now, next week, the sequel to Skyward by Brandon Sanderson comes out called Starsight, but my copy hasn't shipped yet, so it probably won't get to me in time. So I'm thinking instead I'm going to read To Be Taught If Fortunate, which is a sci-fi novella by Becky Chambers, which I've heard is phenomenal. So I can definitely do this, guys. If I just read The Rise of Kiyoshi and To Be Taught If Fortunate, To Be Taught If Fortunate is only like 130 pages long, and... <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Even though I technically failed the last round, I'm just doing it for fun, you know? Then if you're wondering, the third task um, is taking place from the 9th to the 15th of December. And I still have to figure out my TBR for that. And I'm also doing the Tis the Season-a-thon that's from the 2nd to the 8th of December. But I'll post a separate um, TBR for those and all the books I want to read in December. But for now, it's time to finally finish this book. <laughs>
Okay, as promised, I'm here to show you my Harry Potter master list. Um, it is far from what it will look like at the end. This is just like a very rough draft where I just chuck in all the information and I'm going to make it um, look nice and I'm going to organize the information better later. But this is just like very rough. So first I'm writing down all the characters that I mentioned. So we have muggles. And then I write, you know, the occupation, the physical traits, um, just random stuff like that. Then we have witches and wizards. Oh, and I started writing down like every single character that came up, even if they were only in the series for like two seconds. But I kind of stopped doing that because like, I don't know, what's the point? But anyways, then we have witches and wizards and these are all in order of appearance. Um, and keep in mind, I've only read reread the first two books so far. So this is only information that has been given to us in the first two books. So obviously Dumbledore has a lot more than most others. He even has like a random facts section. And yeah, like as we find out more, I can add more information. Like for Harry, I was able to add broom and wand. And yeah, uh, so that's characters. There's a lot. <laughs> and then I have a squib section and then just like an unknown section, which I kind of gave up on doing as well. Um, this is just like chocolate frog um, people and just random stuff. Why is there a blank page here? Let's delete. Okay, next we have creatures. So basically I just list um, the creature and then like the types if, there's, if there has been listed types. And then notable, so this one's notable owls. So we have Hedrick, Malfoy's, Neville's Grands, <laughs> Errol and Hermes. Uh, we have cats, dogs, toads, snakes, goblins, dragons, vampires, hags, trolls, rats. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, yeah. Another blank page. What is happening? And then we have objects. So these are just like random magical objects that have come up. And then I've also listed like every potions ingredient that has ever been mentioned. So yes. Then we have potions. These are all the different um, potions that have come up and any extra information we've been given. Um, we have magical plants as well. Then we have food and drinks that are mentioned in the Harry Potter world. We have all the flavors mentioned of Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans so far. Okay, this one's quite big too. We have places. Um, so basically just every place we visit, I write it down and I write down any description that we've been given. Um, obviously Hogwarts is the biggest one. Um, so it has lots of subsections, obviously. Um, yeah, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. Okay, then we have subjects. This one I kind of gave up on as well. I was just writing down everything when I first started. Like I wrote down like when they had astronomy every Wednesday at midnight and the, the specific things that it's listed that they learned. I kind of wish I kept up with this, but I didn't. So maybe that will be something I add next time I do a reread. Okay, then we have spells. Um, so far, there have only been 13 spells shown uh, in the first two books. Very exciting. Oh, this I totally gave up on. <laughs> I just had like this weird miscellaneous section and I made it a quiz style. Like, I don't know what I was doing. What magical instances happened to Harry before he knew he was a wizard? What did the Dursleys give Harry for his 10th birthday? Like, why would I ever need to know any of this? I don't know. Okay, then we have a list of books mentioned. There's way more than I remembered. Um, and I just sort of list um, like where they came up. Like this one was a book confiscated by the ministry that makes you speak in limericks for the rest of your life. Just random. Um, then we have random Quidditch teams that I mentioned. Um, this is the year one Gryffindor Quidditch team. Secret passageways mentioned. Um, list of Gryffindor passwords, list of Dumbledore's office passwords, list of Com Slytherin common room passwords. Um, Christmas at Hogwarts. Oh, I forgot to do this for the second year, but I just put like, um, quotes and like, nice Christmassy things and the Christmas presents that Harry got 
in his first year. I totally forgot to do that in the second book. Then we have the uniform equipment and textbook list for the first year. And do we even get one for the second year? I don't know. But that's all I've got. Um, so obviously it needs a lot of work and I will probably have to reread the series again to um, like fill in stuff that I've forgotten and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I was thinking of eventually putting it into a journal um, once I've, you know, finalized everything and like adding pictures and like cute stuff, but I don't know yet. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Harry Potter mask list. It is a work in progress. <laughs> Hello. So it's time to end this vlog, but I just got my Outcrate unboxing, so I might just like tack that on to the end of this video. But first, let's wrap up what I read this week. Well, last week. <laughs> so first I finished The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, and the more I think about it, the more I think this is a three stars. Super unsatisfying, <laughs> just, Ugh, the romance is so unsatisfying. We needed so much more. So much more. And like the one scene we do get just wasn't even that good. So I'm very disappointed because that was the only reason I was really continuing on with the series. But regardless, it was fun, I guess. And then I finished my reread of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Can I get a hell yeah? So very happy. Oh, and I'm so excited to start reading The Prisoner of Azkaban next month. The first two books in the series are definitely my least favorite because I've just read them so many times. So I'm excited to finally get into Prisoner of Azkaban where it just gets more and more complicated and more and more interesting. And yeah, we get into my favorites. So yeah, still gave this five stars even though it's not the best thing in the world. Then I DNF'd Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Christo. I got like 30 pages into this and just wasn't a fan, sadly. If you've read this, please let me know your thoughts on it. I went on Goodreads and looked at reviews and most of them were like two or three stars, so very average. So I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up and try it again or not, but yeah, kind of disappointed. Then I got to page 64 of The Rise of Kiyoshi. Loving this book so much. Um, I'm hopefully gonna finish it off this week. And then I started listening to the audiobook of The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I am absolutely loving this book. I am a hundred pages in. Like I still kind of have no idea what's going on. We're kind of just like thrown in the deep end and we don't really know who the main character is, but it's very intriguing. The audiobook is absolutely phenomenal and I'm really excited to keep reading. So those are the books that I read slash read from last week. I'd say it was a pretty successful week, but now let's open the Outcrate box. If you don't want to stick around for the unboxing, that's totally fine. I'll see you guys next week. But if you do want to stick around, let's have a quick squeeze at what's inside. I'm very excited. This box is like bursting. It is so full. But anyway, the theme for this month's box is through the Enchanted Forest, I think, which I am so excited about. So let's open her up. Oh my gosh, that is why it's bursting. There is something huge on the top. I'm guessing this is either a towel or a blanket. It's probably gonna be a blanket because it's only summer in the Southern Hemisphere and nobody knows that the southern hemisphere exists apparently. Oh, here's the spoiler card. Oh my gosh, this artwork? What the heck? That is so beautiful. Yep, it's a throw blanket. It says all forests are magic throw blanket. Inspired by the cruel prince by Holly Black. Well, would you look at that? Oh, this is really soft. Oh my gosh, this is so much softer than I was expecting. Wow. Oh, it's like Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I wish it wasn't the middle of summer right now. I probably won't be able to show you. It's upside down, love that. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to show you this. I might insert a picture if I can be bothered. It smells nice too. <laughs> this is so nice, oh my gosh. I just wanna hug it forever. All these little fluffy bits are coming off though, which could potentially get annoying because it could get all over my clothes. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, next we have an Alcrate exclusive created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. This is probably the Christmas ornament. 
Um, they partner up with Juniper and Ivy to create a Christmas ornament every year. And they're always so beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's so stunning. Trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. I have no idea what that is from. Raven Boys. Not a huge fan of the Raven Boys, but I am a huge fan of this Christmas ornament. Oh, next we have some adorable stickers. I love stickers and I am obsessed with these stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh, it also has some bookish ones on the back. Okay, so this is the front. Look at them. They're so cute. And then we have the black and white bookish ones on the back. I will definitely be using these. Definitely. Okay, next we have another wrapped item. It's really heavy. Possibly a bookmark. I mean, it's, it's the shape of a bookmark and I think I can feel a tassel. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I was not expecting this. It's purple, first of all. Look at it. It has a quote from Naomi Novik on it. Wow. This is absolutely stunning. I really love this. Like, so much. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, next. I'm so excited. Because it's the reading journal. So, oh my gosh. Oh, mine's a little bit, like funky on the front cover. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like this weird line. Who cares though? Because I am so excited about this reading planner. So it says on the front, magical monthly reading planner. And they have said they've made some improvements from last year's one. And already I can tell it is so much thicker than last year's one. So um, let's have a quick look. Oh my gosh. So it has a little library that you can like fill in yourself. It says favorite books, but I'd probably make that like the books I read that year. Then we have the monthly view. We have a book wish list and monthly TBR. And then we have the weekly planners. And it also has a place to put your to-do list, your reading list, pages read this week and extra notes and pages read every day that is so handy oh and then we have book reviews i hope they added more because last time they only had like eight and i read way more than that so what do we have we have six 12 can only put 12 are you serious because i usually read more than 12 books oh well then we have a favorite quotes page and a monthly wrap-up page and just a notes section and then it starts all over again. That's pretty cool. I am just disappointed about the amount of book review things they have. I thought they would really improve on that. Oh well, I am still really, really excited about this. That's really awesome. I can probably just like photocopy it and like put extra pages in if I need to. But yeah, I, I'm really pleased with this. Next we have a little uh, quote. Once upon a time, I dared to dream of a strange, lovely world where I belonged. And that is from Amber and Dusk, which is a previous Alcrate book. And the, it looks like the second book is coming out soon. So that's probably why they put it in there. I just saw the exclusive cover and it is so beautiful. But first we have the pin. The monthly enamel pin. Oh my gosh i think this is my favorite pin we've ever gotten oh my gosh this is such my aesthetic the moon oh my gosh yes i love everything about this pin wow okay and the book <gasps> oh my god and it has sprayed edges what the heck so this is winterwood by shay earnshaw I am obsessed with this cover. It is so much better than, than the original. So we have the letter from the author. And then we have, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. And it is signed. Okay, let's look at it naked. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in shock right now. 
that is absolutely beautiful. So this is about a enchanted forest and a witch and it's set in winter and that's all I know. <laughs> For as long as there have been fairy tales, we have been warned to fear what lies within the dark, dark woods. And in Winterwood, New York Times best-selling author Shay Earnshaw shows us why. Oh, so she finds a missing boy that disappeared from camp several weeks ago and she finds him in the middle of the worst snowstorm in years. He should be dead, but he's alive and in the woods with no memory. So she's like, okay, this is weird. Um, and she has to unearth the truth. Okay, that sounds cool. Wow, I am so happy with this. So happy. Okay, and then we have the little booklet. So that's what the original cover looked like. Wow, we stand. Oh, there's a Spotify playlist for this. That is so cool. And the theme for next month is Tales of Trickery. I think I know what the book is for this. I'm really excited. And it says every December box will contain an exclusive book sleeve designed by Chatty Nora. Oh my gosh, this box was like one of my favorites. Wow. I'm literally so happy. <laughs> so thank you so much to our crate for sending that to me. I have a special discount code that you can use. I will leave it in the description if you want to get 10% off your first our crate order. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon with a new one next week. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.